Hello everybody, today I have yet another project video for all of you, but this particular project video is not going to be as long as other project videos that I have made in the past on my YouTube page. So this particular project video is basically me explaining and showing you images of an upgraded thing that I decided to do on my portable CE Electronics elevator position floor indicator. So, without further ado, let's go ahead and get to the basics. The first thing that you'll notice that is new is one of the sides. As you can see right here, I have decided to put some markings down on the side. And these are for like floor charts and all of that. And these two buttons, of course, are the same. These are still the same, except I decided to do something a little different. So as you can see, this chip code for floors thing that I'm talking and about to explain about is basically the fact that what's really cool about the elevator control board that is inside the box right now, you can actually change out the uh, small little IC microchip to put different floor data on. So basically, if you have like a microchip that only serves like five floors and there's another one that serves like 32, you can definitely change it out and then therefore it'll actually display different floors. But you have to make sure that the notch, the printed notch on the IC circuit is pointing in the same direction like it is on the control board. Like, you know, if it's printed on the control board in a particular way, then you have to put it in that particular order. So this was for the old microchip for my control board, which came with the, with the control board when I got it. So, what I did with it, since it only served only 8 out of the 14 floors that was implemented into this, what I decided to do is I put it on a piece of foam right here. This is the original chip right here. I don't know if you can see it, but there it is. That's the original chip that has the 14 floors on it. And when I actually got my other CE Electronics uh, indicator, which, uh, which uh, emitting color is red, as you can see, so... Um, when I got this indicator, it came with another microchip, and this is what came with the chip. So I took it out of its packaging, and as you can see right here, this one serves only 11 floors. If it'll focus, give it a moment. There we go. So you see, this one serves floors B, L, and 1 through 9. This was, pr this was pretty much like an idea for like a hotel installation so because you know there's basement lobby and then one through nine so this definitely reminds me of a hotel so as you see right here this don't know what all of this stuff means but if anyone knows please let me know in the comments below and when I actually tested the new chip out I actually was able to serve all of the floors shown on the indicator and this is how I did it so what I had to do is I had to mess around with some buttons in order for me to make sure that all of the floors can be shown on the indicator display. So as you can see now, this is the side that currently holds that, uh, that new chip in, which I got with my red colored CE Electronics indicator. Let me show it to you again real quick. So yeah, that is where I got the chip and um, that's what all of this information is about on the side so as you see right here this is basically a chart that I made with a label maker it shows the different combination of floors for what buttons you need to press in order for that number or you know floor to be shown so I'm gonna go ahead and slowly bring the camera down so you can all look at it this only serves 11 floors which kinda sucks but hey at least it shows all of them via this combination. So, as you also see, these bottom four buttons are used with this new microchip, and I wrote this side only, because if I put the other microchip in, these buttons will not be affected by this code, and then therefore it only shows eight out of the 14 floors with that other microchip. So, in order for me to show all of the floors, I am actually... I actually have to push multiple buttons at once in order for me to show that particular floor number. 
So you see there's 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, lobby and basement. So, and those are all of the different buttons you have to press in order for the floor to be shown. So it's basically in binary, which is pretty cool. So now I am going to show you a quick little demonstration of it in action. Here we go. And before we do that, um, there is going to be an image on screen right about now, which is basically the inside. And basically, that little tiny microchip on the side of the processor chip, which is longer, the microchip that only has eight legs, I put an arrow there so you can all see it and where it is on the control board. So basically, that is the chip that has all of the floors implemented into it. So now I am going to go ahead and show you a quick little demonstration of my upgraded floor indicator, basically. So without further ado, I am going to go ahead and show you the demonstration. Okay, folks. So the first thing that we need to do in order for me to show you all of the floors is, of course, turn on the power. So you can see the initialization showing the OK and then 2V and then ZZ, meaning no input right now. So now what we can do is we can only use four out of the eight buttons, which is basically really good because it, it actually is, you know, it's like a some type of combination. So you only have to press a few buttons and then it shows this particular floor, which I think is really nice. So right now it's showing ZZ, meaning no input. So what if I wanted to turn off the display without shutting the power switch off? Watch this. I would either have to hit the upper four buttons, which are these, and then it turns off the display. And then you see, I pushed button number four and it switched off the display. And what's really weird is that the arrows can actually turn on even if there's no floor shown on the display, which is very interesting. So look at that. So now I'm going to show you all of the floors that this particular chip that I installed into my board can handle. So what if I want to show floor B? Of course, I would have to look at my chart and then I would have to hit the first button on the bottom. So that is my game and watch. Sorry about that. So you can see the B lights up on the display because I hit B. And what if I want to show the lobby? I would just have to hit button number two and then it shows up as lobby. And what if I want to show one? So there's one. So um, let me just wait for my clock to stop chiming and then I'll be right back, folks. Okay, guys, I'm back. Sorry about that. So what if I want to show, you know, the lobby, like I said earlier, I would just have to hit the second button. And um, what if I want to show floor one? So what I have to do is I have to look at the chart and see what buttons I have to press. According to my chart, it says to push buttons one and two at the same time. So if I do that, it shows up as one. So um, now I'm going to show you the rest of the floors. So what if I want to show floor two? I would have to hit button number three and now it shows up as two. So basically what's happening right now is that when I push a button it sends a binary code signal to the control board and then therefore it sends um, binary information data from the control board to the indicator display via all these little chips. So now what if I want to show floor three? I would have to hit buttons one and three, and then it shows up as three. So as you saw, right there, these are buttons one and three because I actually labeled them. Even though they already have labels on the buttons already, this was for the this is actually for the other chip. So these these four buttons are used for the new chip I put in. So yeah, so that is a uh, floor three. That's how you show floor number three. What if I want to show floor number four? I would have to hit buttons two and three at the same time. So as you saw, I pushed two and three, and it shows up as floor four. Now, what if I want to show floor five? I would have to hit buttons one, two, and three at the same time, which I know sounds complicated, but it, it, it really isn't that hard, if I do say so myself. So 
As you saw, I pushed buttons 1, 2, and 3, and now it shows up as 5. Now, what if I want to show 6? I would have to hit only button number 4, and then it shows up as 6. So, what if I want to now show floor 7? I would have to hit buttons 1 and 4 at the same time. So, there's floor 7. Now, here's floor 8. How do I show floor number 8? I would have to hit buttons 2 and 4. So there we go. So, th so that is uh, 2 and 4. You push buttons 2 and 4, and um, it shows up as floor 8. And what if I want to show the highest floor that this chip can hold, which is, of course, floor 9? What if I want to do that? I would have to hit buttons 1, 2, and 4, like this. And then it shows up as 9. And, of course, like I said, what if I want to turn off the display without uh, switching the power off and the power switch on the side? I would just have to hit the upper four buttons, and then, bam, it switch off the display. So, yeah, I just wanted to quickly share with all of you a little upgrade on my CE Electronics portable indicator, which, um, which of course, is really cool, and I wanted to share with all of you of what I did over the weekend of, of this particular video, and rather so... Yep, so anyways, if you have any questions, put them in the comments below. And as always, smash that like button. Let's try to get to, let me just say that, let's just try to get to five likes on the video like the indicator is saying to. So anyways, if you really enjoyed this video, please consider subscribing to my channel. It really helps me out a lot. And I'll see you all next time. So anyways, bye-bye everyone.